uh, let's get the start of the season, actually. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I need to sign Bernier. Thank you for reminding me, Philly. Or I need to trade him, not sign him. Find a trade. Goalies. I'm sure somebody's going to want Bernier. Yeah, Boston. Okay, yeah, I could have my pick of whatever I wanted. Some seventh, some low-end prospects. A sixth, Vancouver. I actually would not mind talking to Vancouver. Low starter goalie. A couple sevenths, Pressburg, Lidstrom, Coop. I actually... Coop was the, uh, was the coach. Let's get that six from uh, Vancouver. They're not going to be in our way. Bernier's not going to help them that much. So... Let's get this season simulation rolling. I'm I'm excited. I think this team is going to be really good. I think the chemistry is going to be good. Um, I like the lines. They all kind of fit. All right. We're 5-2 and two in preseason. Preseason, you can't really tell much, but you can tell that Jack Eichel is good at hockey. You can say that confidently after the preseason. Anyway, let's get the first month of simulation underway. Beating the Leafs and the Stars, the team we lost to. In the Stanley Cup. Starting the season 7-0. and is 8-0 is nice to see. 8-1 and to start the season. I will take an 8-game winning streak to start the season. I remember when the Sabres went on a 10-game winning streak to start the season once. That was that was pretty darn fun. Now, I'm not talking about the recent ones. I'm talking about ones back in like 2010. Like, that was darn fun. You know what else was fun? Seeing Jack Eichel put up 8 goals and 10 assists in 12 games played. I actually want to see how each line is doing. So I'm going to flip through it this way. Hall with 14, Eichel with 18, Cousins with a point per game. Uh, we got 12 points, point per game there, 10 points, and 12 points there. Three points, three points, four points, not good. The bottom six is not good. Sanford is a minus seven, yikes. Uh, Darlene's a minus two, what? The only plus is y Yoki Haru? I'm going to move Yoki Haru up. I'm just going to do it. Bouchard... He's got only got three points. He's playing 21 minutes a night. Lukanen, not good in his one game played. He, Allmark's got 10 wins, but it's not on his on his hot performance. Um, did I just say 10 wins? Yeah, no, he's got all of our wins. For a second, I thought we only had eight wins on the season. I'm losing it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get another month under our belts. Beautiful. Uh, so, hey, I'll, listen, I'll take points. Even if they're overtime losses, I will take points. Three wins on the Western Conference road trip. You'll love to see that. Uh, some, wow, guys, we are really freaking good. We are 19, four and three at the end of two months. Jack Eichel with 32 points. We are tearing away from the league. The Coyotes are the only team close. And then the Lightning in our own division are right on our heels. Them and the Maple Leafs. It's going to take something spectacular, boys. It really will. Um, let's take a look at the stats. I think we won more with the new lines. Forwards, Victor Olofsson on that second line. Middle stat, Reinhardt, Olofsson is a good, good line. And I like to see middle stat do that too. Uh, Hall with 25. Cousins with 22. You know, he's still young, but he's now up to an 85. He's grown to an 80. Five and his offensive awareness is great. His defensive category is insane. Should he be taking faceoffs over Jack? I mean, technically, yeah. Is Jack bad at faceoffs? I mean, not really, but Cousins is better. Interesting. We'll see about that. Either way, uh, Thompson and Ennis have have turned it around. Lee Anderson, like these guys, aren't as bad as they once were. They they're gonna have less of a chance to turn it around. But defensemen. Dalin, Risto, Yoki Haru. Look at Yoki Haru, boys. I doubted him. I doubted he was going to be able to put up points. Bouchard's actually been the worst player, huh? Interesting to see him. I don't know. I thought he would have been a lot better scoring more goals. Shows you what I know. Allmark and Uko Pekalukinen having a very, very uh, good second month to improve, which is what you want to see. Uh... 911 there for Allmark and a 257 and a 905 and a 282. Do we have any rookies? We do not. Okay. How is Eichel doing compared to the league? I know he's got 32 points in 26 games, but like he's right there with William Nylander. Okay. Mitch Marner. He doesn't have a he does he doesn't have that partner in crime. Taylor Hall is not that partner in crime that I thought he would be. Like he's okay. He's fine. But could I move Olafson up and then trade Taylor Hall? 
No, I can't move him up. Can't move him up. Reinhardt up. Doesn't help. Tyler Ennis. Tyler Ennis would work, but I don't think I want to do that. Definitely don't think I want to do that. Um, his Cousins is the power forward up there. Ennis would work. He, Ennis would get us a plus three. Ennis fits pretty much everywhere. He's carry, shoot, carry, cycle, balance, balance. Okay, yeah. So Cousins is a really good fit, but he's not at the same time. I don't know how Ennis fits just as well. He's got another... I don't know. Oh. Um, let's go ahead and see. Would I be nuts to think I want to trade Taylor Hall? Is that like a crazy thing to say? He's so highly, nobody wants him. I know, can nobody take him? Or is my cap situation preventing people from trading with me? I wonder. I can just go find a trade myself. I don't have a lot of cap and he's making 89 million. Does anybody want Taylor Hall? Boston wants Taylor Hall. How ironic. And they would give me Charlie McAvoy. Marshan, would they give me Posternock? Dude, if I got Posternock for, for Hall, that's such a close deal, guys. I mean, Post is going to get paid, though. I mean, like, absolutely freaking paid. If he's not already signed an extension, he's going to make a lot of money. He is going to make, yeah, he's not signed an extension yet. He is going to be making a lot of money. Proposing the trade, woefully insufficient, so we are going to have to overpay. I mean, kind of makes sense. I could go after a guy like Patrick Kane for one season, right? A rental Patrick Kane. I could go after Debrinkat too, uh, who signed for seven years at $10 million next year. Would fit our second line. That's the problem. Everybody fits our freaking second line. Uh, they'd still be over the cap, too, which is crazy uh, to me. Uh, the LA Kings want him. The LA Kings are good. Wow, the LA Kings are very, very highly talented. They're very promising. Let's put it that way. They signed Landis Cog. That's fine. I'd still rather have Hall. I'm just doing my due diligence here. Hall is one of those guys that I can see as expendable on the roster. Uh, and Vancouver wants him. Vancouver has a lot of talent. Elias Pettersson is a guy that would interest me quite a bit. He's a two-way forward. He doesn't fit the scheme at all, and we know that for a fact. Brock Besser, however, would fit the scheme on the second line. Sure. But is basically the same as Taylor Hall, signed for cheaper. Could just happen to be a better fit. He does not shoot as much as I'd like to see. When did they, where do they play him? They play him 20 minutes a night. He doesn't shoot as much as I'd love, right? Like, take a look at Taylor Hall. Does Taylor Hall shoot? Taylor Hall doesn't shoot that much more. I don't know. We'd be saving money, and we might be able to get something out of this deal, guys. We might be able to get something else out of this deal. Um, I don't know. Get a Caden Gooley, perhaps? Another guy, potentially? Uh, I could take Tyler Myers' contract from him. No, I could take Getzloff's contract. I know I could do that for sure. Uh, the question is, do I want to? Do I want to take that contract? Gaudette, another bottom sixer, could be decent for us. We do need a good bottom sixer. He does not fit the scheme, though. Michael Furland, who is a grinder. I don't want that. Draft picks, just give me, uh, just give me your second, Vancouver. Brock Besser in a second for Taylor Hall. Brock Besser in a second for Taylor Hall. Is this, am I out of my mind? Am I out of my mind for even considering this? Brock Besser is a first line forward. He's 88, he's 25, he's six years younger. He's put he's putting up way more goals. I need a goal scorer on that top line. That's what Taylor Hall is not. Brock Besser is a pure goal scorer. I don't think I'm gonna get the second, but I'm at least gonna give it a try. Before I do, Vegas wants him, so we'll see what Vegas has to offer. I don't think they have anybody as good. They don't have anybody as good or on a, as good of a deal. So I will uh, call up Vancouver, and we'll start a discussion around Brock Besser. Brock Besser and your second, which is lesser value. Too far off. I've met their trade block. Okay. How about I take the Canadians third? Can Besser play? I'll make him play the other side. Just a bit low. Okay. So I will take their third and see if that gets go through. Trade accepted. We have moved on from Taylor Hall because I am disappointed with how Taylor Hall has performed for us. We'll go edit the lines now and put Brock Besser in as first liner. Uh, unfilled. Right wingers. Brock Besser. Substitute in all lines. He still gets the plus three, which is beautiful, and he fits just fine. He's a great second line fit, though, which is which is nice to see. 
Paige Thompson would be better than Sam Reinhardt here in the on this. So what if I did that? Nah, I'm, I'm not going to mess it up what's going on right now. Things are working. Tage Thompson is doing okay. Brock Besser is now a Buffalo Sabre. He had 23 points in 26 games. It was time for me to go ahead and acquire him. Uh, we'll get Besser in here as well. Uh, right wingers, Brock Besser. Does he fit the power play? He does. Gets a plus three there. Uh, and I'd rather think, I think I'd rather, I, you know what? I'm going to leave him there. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to move him for Dylan Cousins. I want to grow, right? Sam Reinhardt, do you need ice time? He's got five years. Oh, moving Middlestat up. You know what? I might do that and spread the wealth a bit. Move Middlestat up because I do want Middlestat to grow. And then we'll get Brock Besser down here on uh, on the power play as well. Substitute there. Extras. Three on three. It's going to be Eichel. Eichel and Besser is pretty dope. Eichel and Besser. Substitute. You got Reinhardt and Olofsson. Cousins and Ennis. No, we're not putting Ennis in there. Are you kidding me? We're going to put Casey Middlestat. Beautiful. Uh, and we're moving Darlene up. I don't I don't even care. Um, there we go. We are all set there. Ready to go. Now see how Brock Besser does as a member of the Buffalo Sabres. We shed some cap. Longer contract. Same kind of player. I think he's still got potential to grow, though, which is nice. He's basically the same as Taylor Hall. I will take this. Because Taylor Hall, in his seasons in Buffalo, has only been, like, decent... I mean, he scored a lot last season, but it's coming off a high shooting percentage. I mean, his shooting percentage is un like absurd. Dude, dude is not this good of a finisher anymore, EA. Wake up. Uh, Brock Besser. Yeah, still does have room to grow, so he could surpass. He's so, 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 so good. And I guess he, he, didn't, he didn't finish as well, but he is finishing well this season, so... Change of scenery here for Brock Besser. We'll see if he will simulate well for us. Hopefully, I didn't just ruin everything. That is the that is not the goal. The goal is to make things better. So let's go another month. Get up to uh, the first of January, and where we can you know really think about uh, contracts for next season. There's two straight losses. Okay, we win. Have a lot of goals scored, but I'm not trading Pareko. Okay, another win. Okay, okay, we're we're winning. We're back to our winning ways. Those were just two losses. Caesar Milok, who I already looked at as our next head coach, uh, was just fired. We're not going to get him. We're not going to go after him. But things are going uh, very, very well. Um, Jack Eichel now with 41 points. He's no longer uh, ahead in his goals. Um, Brock Besser is there with 33. So since he became a saver, he's got seven goals in 12 games. Are you serious? The dude is a goal scorer his shooting percentage is flown up i mean he's playing with eichel right i don't like how they made Pedersen a two-way forward i just straight up don't but uh 12 games seven goals i will take that he's even though which is not not what you want to see uh middle stats fine cousins darlene tage thompson is actually putting up quite a few points 21 points i'm fine with that but it's january 1st let's take a look at the expiring contracts yeah, Dylan Cousins, Bouchard. Bouchard is a disappointing one to me. Bouchard, I thought, was going to be really good. He's not. He's a guy I might look to move on from. I'm not sure. Dylan Cousins for eight years at 7.5. Lock it in. Paige Thompson. Uh, two years at 2.75. Sure. We'll do those two. Bouchard, I don't know what I want to do with Bouchard, man. I just I just don't know what I want to do with him. He's good enough, but he's playing on my bottom six, and I feel like I could get a defensive defenseman. Well, maybe not a defensive defenseman, offensive defenseman that would fit, work better than him for what he is, right? Defenseman, Bouchard, Toffoli. I don't need Toffoli. Stillman, no, I don't want prospects. A lot of teams want him, though. It's nice to see a lot of teams calling when I offer him out there. Raphael Lavoie. Um, let's see. Did that actually announce? Um, okay, we're good. Uh, Corpusalo, I don't need a goalie. Kajula, ugh. These aren't great trades. Parise, uh, no thanks. 
Um, yeah, nobody too great. I mean, Jet Wu, but like we already saw that these guys don't have a ton of value. Kiniola uh, is probably not good. Yo, what's up, Ronald? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Kiniola could, I mean, he could be something. He's decent. Bouchard is really good, though. But he's not at the same time. He doesn't simulate well for us. You just missed a blockbuster trade there, Ronald. We just traded Taylor Hall for Brock Besser in a third. Uh, and the team is doing very well. We have 59 points, top of the league. Uh, the Hurricanes are the only team close. I guess I say the only team close. The Lightning could easily catch us if we slip up. Uh, but I don't intend on slipping up. We just offered contract extensions to Cousins and Tage Thompson. Hey, what's up, Ethan? How are you doing, my guys? I'm glad to see you guys popping in the stream here. How are you doing on this Friday night? Here are the lines. It's Besser, Eichel, Cousins. Cousins has grown even more up to an 86, which will only help us. Uh, he's gotten so good. Middlestat, Olofsson, Sam Reinhart, Ennis, Anderson, Thompson, Robinson, Lazar, Sanford. Lazar has got 11 points. He's got five goals. Cool. Good for him. Scratched is Zemgod. I think I might bring in Zemgod for Lazar. He's He's better. Zemgis Gergensen's boys. Oh, gets a plus one. Would you look at that? Um, I'm not going to go after Kessel. It's not worth it, especially. I don't even know if he's still playing. Uh, but we got Dalin Yokiharu, which has been a really good pairing. Ristolainen and Pareko, which is a, a stupid penalty minutes, but good, really good without the chemistry. Second pairing. And then Miller and Bouchard, which has been fine, which is Bouchard's not good. You want me to? I will go ahead and check on Kessel for you there, Ronald. Uh, Allmark here and Lukanen have been solid, right? You don't get goalies to uh, play or, or, or sim very, very well. Uh, but since you want to look up Phil Kessel, we will go ahead and take a look at Kessel. Uh, also, I have to say, do not do the uh, one-year followage from Twitch. I know, Ethan, it's been sick. I love how you pop in uh, from time to time. 87 with another year left on his deal. That is a uh, that is an interesting, perhaps deadline acquisition, but I doubt he fits the fourth line. He fits the fourth line. Um. Um. Anyway, we are going to keep simulating here. Jack Eichel's doing well. I'd love to see him do a little bit better, but I guess I'm asking for too much if I say that. Uh, but let's see how we do this month. Cousins is back, and Tage Thompson are back. Those are good contracts. Those are very Reasonable contracts, I'd say. We're winning and losing. It's a little bit of an up and down here. Uh, the scouts are telling me what they want to tell me. We're tied with the lightning, guys. Sean Sean Shaw. The Bruins have fired Sean Shaw. And we have dropped from first to second in the division. It is... I hate this freaking division, man. How good are the Tampa Bay Lightning? Freaking good with Point and Kucherov. Stamkos. But, like... Sam Gagne is their second line left winger. Like, what is... This is not that good of a team. They've got the stars, but my defensive core is better. My forwards are better. My goalie's not as good. My goalie's not as good. I wouldn't say Eichel fell off quick. What do you mean? He's still more points than, than games played, which is what he was. Yeah, Eichel would do better with Kessel? I don't know. Uh, we could see. Um, but if I check out the lines, Besser is a plus one. He's got so many goals. He's only scored, what, two in his last 14? I don't like that, but he's got more points, which is nice to see. His shooting percentage came down. Jack Eichel is still doing very, very well. He's really just a 90-point player uh, until, like, maybe Cousins. Like, Cousins is ascending. Like, Cousins is coming up quick, boys. Cousins is is ready. Like, he's going to be maybe point per game or 70-point player at least. Why is Besser a plus one? Uh, I mean, he's just a plus one. It's it's a good thing. No, he was just he was just even. He was he was getting a ton of points, but he was even. You know, uh, so the fact that he scored 21 points and only seven on the power play and only being a plus one is a little concerning. Uh, Darlene... Like this, this could be, I might almost just say, screw it and just do something like, like that and just move Risto up just cause. Yeah. Well, he came in halfway through the season. Don't forget. I, I, I had Hall here. I wonder, I'll actually go check on Hall. 
Um, see how he, Hall is doing. Is, is Gergensen's an 80? No, he's not. I, I just misread that. All right, let's go find Taylor Hall uh, and see how he is doing now in Vancouver. Taylor Hall in Vancouver. Eh, I guess neither team wins the trade, right? Neither team wins the trade. Phil Kessel doesn't really fit the scheme, though. I would like to find a new coach, and that's why I paused the sim, but oh my god, we have value. Risto's contract is actually really stupid good. Hold up! Hold up! Hi, Elite Atu Rati on an ELC for Risto? Hold on! I mean, this is a step back, right? He's 20 at 77, but he's got high elite. For Risto, who's an 88 defenseman. Like, I'd have Rotti, Eichel, Cousins, Middlestat, Reinhardt, all with elite and Besser. I'd have a top six of elite. But the problem for Rotti is he's a two-way forward. That's the sucky thing about Rati is he's a two-way forward. Um, what would it, what would Colton Pareko get me? Yeah, <laughs> okay, a little bit of a downgrade there in, in in quality, but the fact that I could even think about getting Atu Rati is very very interesting. Arizona, Phil Kessel down there, Allmark and Miller, Von Arks and Miller, Yoki Haru. No, none of those deals I am willing to do. I'm not doing with doing any of those deals. I'd like to keep what I've got. The coaching staff, though, I wanted to check out Sean Shaw. Sean Shaw is a defenseman coach, NHL head coach. He fits Dahlin, but really tanks the rest of my roster. So I think I'm going to leave it as is. I don't think I'm making any changes there to the coaching staff. I think I'm going to leave the forwards and everything as they are. I definitely think we have a chance at winning the cup this year. I really, really do. I mean, we're 33, 11, and 6. We got to beat Tampa. Losing in overtime is not the worst result. We got to, we play Tampa again. We got to beat them this time. All right. Tampa, how much? They are two points ahead of us with a game in, we have, but we have a game in hand. I'm going to see how this game goes and then maybe jump in and play it. one nothing Kucherov. 1-1, one, one, Tyler Ennis. He's got like, I think, I thought three years left at 7.6. I thought it was something like that. We're going to play this, boys. We are going to play this. I don't know if I've got the right camera angle set. But this is a this is a big game. This is a very, very big game. Yeah, no, we're all set. We're all set. Let's go ahead and get into it here, guys. And just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes and... um Play, have some fun, right? I don't usually jump in, so. Eichel against point on the faceoff. Ronald, uh, I'm going to have to ask, I'm going to have to uh, redeem that for you because I don't have my water and I'm not about to do that for. Uh... Brockbuster's number six. I like that. Fazzy. Okay, I got to turn off the on ice trainer. I have that on for my Bia Pro. Um. Let's go ahead and go to my mobile dashboard. See if I can uh, refund that for you from my mobile dashboard. Uh, done. Back. Uh, is there is there a way to do that from here? I wonder. Uh. I can't I can't do that from my phone. Of course not. Uh off 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 off. Okay. Ronald, I'll get you your 500 back, but just not tonight. I'm going to say not tonight on the hydrated. I don't have water and I'm not about to do that with uh my adult beverage. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep it rolling. Uh can we win the face off Brock Besser? Comes in. Oh, yes. Eichel. Oh, man. Besser. Oh, good slip down, though. I really like that, dude. A lot. Here we go. Risto. Kucherov. 
Darlene, Risto, up to Cousins, Besser, around Hedman, Windmills. Ah, it's going to go all the way back into the zone. Allmark is going to cover it. Okay. All right, we're fine. Middlestat, Olofsson, Reinhardt. Olofsson has been so good. And we got Pareko out there with Bouchard. I like that. We're going to go up to Olofsson. I like that. Oh, God, that was a bad move. Bouchard up to Middlestat. Middlestat is in. We shoot. It skitters. Almost in. I mean, not really. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm going to do what I do, Ronald. Hey, what's up, Pug? How are ya? Welcome to the stream. We are currently trying to save the Sabres. Uh, oh, 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 McDonough with the abuse on Casey Middlestat. Hey, thank you for the follow, Pug. I know it didn't pop up. My alerts have been all broken and whack. I don't know what's going on, and I strongly dislike it. There we go. Now we got it. I don't know why I have to click it myself. What a shot. Yes, it is franchise mode, Pug. Uh, we are in season number three of Saving the Sabres. Uh, Victor Olofsson with the absolute wicked snipe. Uh, Pareko, good defense. Nolan Foot. Is that Nolan Foot? Oh, you guys know Nolan Foot is my sworn enemy. What a shot there. Absolute ripper. Yes. Let's go, Tage. Nice. Oh, it's in. Off his back. Oh, get in. Oh. Most likely Cal foot. You're probably right. Yeah, you're probably right. I just I just see foot and I get I see red. Uh Sanford, get in there. Yes, Miller. We'll go down low. Chase after it, okay, or not. Switch me, EA, that's fine. Oh my goodness, what is this? Here we go, Zach Sanford. Tried to play it. We're at least in the zone, right? We just have to kill off the uh the the time here in the in the third period. Let's go ahead, let the computer get down there. Beautiful. Let's go, Eric Robinson, the $3 million fourth liner. Can't quite get that one to work. Yukiharu, Kachuk, Edler, Cousins, good back check. Nice, he breaks his stick. We got speed with Cousins. We got speed with Cousins. We tried the, f oh, I tried the flip. Vazzy poked. Replay on what? Ronald, what do you want to see a replay for? Oh, let's go. See Besser come in. Besser win it. No, Besser. Come on, dude. Here we go. Risto, good defense. Cousins get over there. Darlene. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Play this one up to Eichel. I can't get around Hedman. When it was behind the goalie, oh, ooh, big hit. We're gonna get up and out. I couldn't get around him. Kucherov shots miss the net. We're gonna hold it. All right, we got some time. We got some time here. We're good. Oh, I wasn't in. It was just I just kind of sat there, and then he laid on it. I thought it I thought it was gonna bounce off his back and in. I misread the bounce. Olafson, there we go. Middlestat, get there. Oh, you can't beat Sam Gagne? Middlestat, you can't beat Sam Gagne? What the heck, bro? Pareko on Hedman? That's a big collision if it happens. Here we go, Bouchard. Gonna go around to Reinhardt. Reinhardt up to Middlestat. Middlestat is around Hedman. He's going to cut to the net. Shoots. Oh. Pareko to Bouchard. Back to Pareko. The one T. Oh, good stretch there by Vazzy. Oh, you just want to see it again? I don't know if I... 
can get there now. Uh, was it Thompson's shot? It might have been Cousin's shot. No, it wasn't Cousin's shot. It was Thompson's shot then, I guess. Yeah, it went up and then down. Oh, it got caught in his pants. Look at that. It gets caught in his jersey and dies. Oh, come on. Look at that. Catches the butt of the pants, catches the jersey, and sits calmly instead of bouncing off his back and in. Oh, man. We got the Elias Anderson line. Here we go. Uh, how do they still get that, bro? That's what I want to know. Tyler Ennis back in royal blue. Paige Thompson will stop. Circle. Nobody's cutting for me, dude. Like, literally nobody is cutting. That was super annoying. Like, I was hoping Anderson would cut or Ennis would get open or somebody would do something. We're just going to put it out. We're going to go get the puck. Go across there to Dahleen. Make a line change. Uh, I guess they're not pressuring. Ooh, I thought I was going to kill Gord there. Risto on Sorelli. Risto to Gord. Ooh, good hit. Jurgensen's Up to Sanford. It's into Robinson. Over to Sanford. Where are you going, Sanford? All right, Pareko and Bouchard is out there. Oh, he's in. Oh, he shoots and squeaks through. Who's my favorite NFL team besides the Bills? Don't really have one. Don't really watch anybody besides the Bills. I wouldn't want to root for anybody besides the Bills either. I just kind of like football. I'd rather root for just whoever is playing in the game rather than saying, oh, my second team is so-and-so. You only have a second team when your team sucks, you know? That's just the way it works. Yeah, you can see the lineup after the game. Don't worry. Good intercept by Cousins. Miller to Besser. I should have just carried it. Eichel chasing down Kucherov. Kucherov's trying to get around the outside. He can't. Eichel's on him. Chernak goes back to Edler. Edler over to point. Gets bodied by Miller. Beret Boulay. Good save. All right. Yeah, see? Um, what does this mean? Uh, we're still, we're, even if we win in overtime, we're still going to be a point behind him. We'll be one point behind him if we pick it up. We'll be three points behind him if we don't pick it up. Oh my goodness, Hedman. You absolute goon, you. Eichel. Oh my word, that would have been so filthy. Darlene, Eichel, Eichel, baby, let's go. Come on. What does this mean? Um, what does what mean? Go Saints go, or you're a Flyers fan and don't have a second team? Oh, I see what you're saying. You like Toronto and Peg? The Eichel Tower in overtime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, baby, let's go. Very nice. All right. We pick up a point on the Lightning, and with a game in hand still, we are one point behind them. Eichel with a goal there is big. Sim to the Florida game. We'll advance the day. Seven to one win. Eichel gets what? A point? An assist? A few assists? I don't remember. We're still a point behind the Lightning. Gosh darn it. Uh, we're going to be a buyer. You're a Flames fan? How do you like Toronto Win Winnipeg as well as the Flames? That doesn't make sense to me. You should not like all the other Canadian teams. <laughs> Claude Giroux! Uh, for Lee... I feel like... Uh, Claude Giroux for Elias Anderson is a really, really good deal. Like, I mean, like, really, really good. He's an 88 overall. And I can't, I can't look at, of course I can't look at it. The Vancouver Canucks have traded Horvat to the Coyotes in exchange for Boone Jenner. What? Jonathan Drew in. 
he is what 27 so he'd probably be around for more than a year if we went out and got him like i'm getting a rental here i'm gonna trade drew for leas anderson a third next year and a fourth this year and leas anderson accept the trade Claude Giroux is now a Buffalo Sabre. You love that. You love to see that. He had no value, too, which is great. He's a playmaker. He fits all the lines up top. Um, yeah, that's fine, Pug. I'll show you the lines here in a minute, too, uh, right after the trade deadline. Um, Claude Giroux is going to be so, 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 so good. Uh, I'm so excited for this. He's a left winger, too. He's listed as a first-line forward. Look at how good he is. Oh, my word. Dude, he had 56 points in 61 games in Philly. That's good. That is real, real good. I know you don't like him IRL. Your, your love affair is an IRL. You can't let that cloud your, your Chell uh, universe judgment, right? Like, Eric Stahl could be a good fit. He's not. But anyway, uh, James Van Riemsdyk. Sniper, $7 million. That's way too expensive. Wow. They are selling off in Philly. Philly must suck. Philly must be really bad. Um, let's see here. Anybody else here? Dadanov is a sniper. No thanks. Uh, if, if, you're, if you're this bad, I want you two-way forward. Nope. I can't get him. He's probably, yeah, he's too expensive. Paul Stastny is an 82. Nah. Sammy Niku is, what, an RFA that just refuses to... To sign for Juan Miller. Uh, Drew JBR at 100 points. Board. Oh, in your universe, they were plus 40. That's insane, dude. That is insane. Um, let's see. Andreas Janssen. Uh, it's probably too expensive. Vitek Vanasek. Yeah, I don't need the goalie. I need like maybe a bottom six winger. I mean, not really. I don't need anything. Mackenzie Wegar. I need, like, maybe potential defenseman. Fetchnikov is high top six, but he's 26, so he's not going to grow anymore. Uh, any of these guys have good potential, EA. Can you not? Can you fix this glitch, please? I'd love that. Barkov. Oh, Bakanov. Oh, my God. I thought that was Barkov. I thought Barkov just got traded. Um, let's keep going here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, Ryan Miller could bring him back for a year. Why not? Just just cuz. Bring back Ryan Miller just for the memories. Uh, let's see. Is anybody with potential down here? Medium Vinny Hiniola is a guy I could go after. Anton Lindell is Von Arks is not. No. Ant I really want Anton Lindell. Actually, no, I don't. He's 74 and 21. I don't think I want that. Um Find a trade. Oh, I can. I didn't know what the different buttons were doing, but anyway. Uh, let's see. What is what is? Is anybody want something for Risto Rati or? Do I do Lindell in a first or Rati? Florida has both Lindell and Rati. Lindell is another two-way forward man. He's seventy-four medium elite. And I get the first, or Rati is 77 high elite. Rati's the guy to get here, right? Like, it's just simply, it's Rati if it's anybody. But I don't think I want them. I think I'd rather have Ekblad. Uh, Ekblad. Ekblad for Risto. Who says no? Actually, Risto is as good as Ekblad. He fits all defensive pairings, though, Ekblad. I'm taking on a little bit more salary. Would you do this? Would you do this? I mean, nothing's... He just takes a lot of penalty minutes. There's nothing wrong with Risto. I'm just always looking for ways to try and improve. It's a bad deal? Yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm going to stick with what we got. I don't think I, I got to make any more trades. Who wants my first? What do you... Philly. Philly. Come on. Come on. You guys got to do better than that. Come on. We got a first, second, third, fifth, sixth, sixth, seventh. 
Uh, rookie skaters. Anybody worth shipping off? I guess this guy. No. Stempniak. I get Victor Rask. That's disrespectful. I get a third from Florida next year. For the Stempniak guy. The Mesnikov, a fourth. I think I'm gonna take the third next year from from the yeah. What is that deal? Like when they signed Hayes? Yeah, right. Uh all right, that's that's a good deal to me. Let's see if we can get uh foster him out. No, we can't. What about the what about this Knights guy? Nope. Uh anybody else that I don't want? Ackerman? No, okay. Vanisek. They traded for Vanisek? Why would they trade for VTech Vanisek? Oh my god. Dude, they are like it's an arms race right now. Oh my god. Why did they give Justin Schultz so much money? Hold up. What the heck was that? Essa Lindell. 5.8. Can't take that cap it. Severson? No, can't take that cap it. Dmitry Orlov, can't take that. Uh Rube Hintz. Can't take that, of course. Yeah, I can't really take many uh, contracts at this point. Bukestad, no. Lindblom, no. I didn't see the uh, clip. I, I, I haven't watched your clips because I'm on stream. But all right, we're going to exit the deadline. And now we're going to go check out the lines for you guys to see. Well, obviously, we have to go edit them. Connor Sheary and Dylan. That's a big trade. Okay, yay. View player info on Cogliano. Oh, my God, no. Uh, edit lines. Let's check this out. Ugh. Uh, Dylan Cousins is an 88. Dylan Cousins has grown to an 88. Yes! Claude Giroux, third line center, baby! We love third line center. Claude Giroux. Third line center, Claude Giroux, baby. First line forward on my third line. Oh my god, that is absurd. Um Yeah, like I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. It's an arms race with uh Tampa right now, so So we're gonna leave we're gonna leave things as is. We're gonna leave this. Um we're gonna leave that like that. Uh, Bouchard up here did not go well last time. Risto's been really good up with Dalene, and then Bouchard and Pareko. And then Yoki Haru down here has just been good. It's I like he's just straight up been good. I'm fine with this. Yoki Haru on the top pairing, Risto and Pareko, and then Miller Bouchard. I'm fine with that. Guys, this is this is nuts. A plus three. That's a 91 Claude Giroux on the third line. That is 91 Claude Giroux on the third line. Uh Bouchard down Olafson up for Giroux, maybe? Cousins up for Giroux? Middlestad up here? You know what? No, we're gonna leave it. Claude Giroux, Eichel, Reinhardt. Jesus. Is Giroux good at faceoffs? Oh my God, he's good at face-offs. Jeez. Like, this, this power play is a little nutty. And this second power play is nothing to sneeze at. Like, it's no slouch. Because we want, we want Besser to grow, because he's still got room to grow. He's an 88. He's done well since he came to Buffalo. I mean, 33 points in 35 games with 15 goals. I'll take that. Penalty kill, Gergensen's Robinson, Middlestat, Giroux. Okay. Oh, you know what it is? It's Risto for Pareko, right? Uh, Claude Giroux. There we go. We like that. Penalty kill, Giroux for Gergensen's, Pareko. Uh, what about Miller? Yeah, we're going to leave it as is. Who cares? Giroux's my, my penalty killer now. Giroux's my defensive forward. I guess I just went out and got defensive genius Claude Giroux. Okay. Uh, it's time to end the season, though, and the Lightning have two games in hand, and we're three points behind. So we play the Philly revenge game. That's the Claude Giroux revenge game for trading him. Yo, these two games against Tampa could be big. Like, these could be insane. 
A loss. A win. 7 nothing win. Wow, we're scoring a lot of goals. Uh, Cade Quint. Cade Quint could be good. Eichel is looking very, very good now. I think he's looking better than he was. Cade Quint. Generalist who... I guess fits, but doesn't fit at the same time. Did, uh, did we just dump on Philly? Hold on. I just want to double check. Did we dump on Philly? We absolutely dumped on Philly. Claude Giroux has no regard for human life. Like, absolutely no regard for his former team. Just, just insane. Seven points. Seven points in six games. And I, you know what? I choose to believe he had a point on every goal in the Philly game, and he hasn't gotten a point since. I'm choosing to believe my canon is that Claude Giroux had seven points in the Philly game, and that's it. That, that's what I'm choosing to believe. Um, whether it's true or not, I don't care because EA doesn't let me see it. Um, but let's go to these two Tampa games here. Uh, simulate up to this date versus Boston. That was a point. There we go. Win. Matthew Colomb. Oh, God. Losing to Toronto sucks. We've already clinched the playoffs. We've already got 99 points. Oh, my goodness. The Blackhawks. That's That's scary. Look at this. The Leafs have 96 points in third. Oh, my God. But, yeah, finishing first in this division is way better than finishing second. Finishing first in this division, you play, like, the Canadians or the Bruins. Finishing seconds, you got to play the Leafs or the Lightning. Strongly dislike that. Uh, I am still looking for a new coach, but our coach is very, very good. So I may not look to change it. Uh, what was his name? Oh, Columba. Hey, they're, none of them are good, dude. He's overload, balance, 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 balance. He's back. Nothing, nothing special. He's not much better than Joey Cooper. Joey. Let's go. Anyway, let's keep it rolling. I say that a lot. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, okay, that's fine. Win, win. Beautiful. Win, win, win. Loss, loss. Win, win. These games against the Lightning do matter, boys. Jack Eichel is going to hopefully finish with a career high in points. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, oh, my God. We are flying. Yeah, we lost in a shootout. We lost in a shootout. I'm going to sim this game against the Lightning, and the game, the last game might not matter. It would matter for the uh, President's Trophy, but all that matters right now is beat Philly in this or Tampa in this game, and we clinch the division. Down 1-0. Down 3-1. Fester scoring on the power play is nice. Tampa Bay's got a long power. Oh, my God. I'm just going to. All right. So, Robinson scored at eight minutes from center ice, but it wasn't enough. And Tampa Bay pulls to within one point of us. And now that, that we lose our grip on the uh, President's Trophy, the Blackhawks haven't played. They've clinched the West by a lot. Jesus. Like, look at this, guys. Like, 114, 113, 108 is... Oh, we need to win this game against Tampa. We need to win this game against Tampa so we can play the Bruins or the Canadians. That's what has to happen. We cannot lose this game. We can take it to overtime. We can lose in overtime. We need a point. Actually, I think we need more than a point, right? They have the row. No, we got the row. No matter what happens in this game... We can lose in overtime. We can lose in a shootout. We just need one point. Don't do real-time sim. I'm not going to do real-time sim. 3-1 win. Let's go. And the Black... Oh, the Blackhawks haven't played. We might not... We might be the President's Trophy winning team, too. Let's go. Ronald coming in clutch with the genius idea. Has the season ended? It has. We tied the Blackhawks for the President's Trophy. Which team has more? Which team is going to finish first in the NHL? It is us. We are the President's Trophy winning team. Your Buffalo Sabres have clinched the President's Trophy with 3.74 goals for per game, most in the league. Really don't like how the Leafs and Lightning are right behind us. And our goals against per game at 2.98 is, well, league average. Our power play is the best one in the league and our penalty kill is not the best one in the league that's what that's all you need that's all you need to see here 
Player stats, Jack Eichel with 94, Brock Besser with 44 goals on the season, 30 goals in 56 games here in Buffalo. What a season for Brock Besser, playing with Eichel, getting 58 points in 56 games in Buffalo. So I can confidently say he was the best, uh, he, he, he was the, uh, he was point per game. I can definitely say that with confidence. Forwards. Sam Reinhart with plus 20, 76 points. Good for him. Claude Giroux with 75, 19 points on the third line. 19 points on line three for Claude Giroux. Yes, he had eight power play points, but 19 points. He had 11 points in 21 games at even strength on the third line. I will 100% take that for what we had to give up. Leas Anderson, a third and a fourth, right? Easy. Victor Olofsson, Dylan Cousins. Guys, oh my goodness. We had seven 70 point scorers. And then it's the, just kind of Zach Sanford is garbage. Oh my God. Minus 20? How are you a minus 20? You don't play. He plays less than 10 minutes of time on ice. And he was a minus 20. Darlene with 56, Risto with 40, Yoki with 31, Bouchard, every, all of our defensemen got 20 points. Goaltending-wise, not a great season for Allmark. Lukanen had a fine season as a backup. We didn't have any rookies. Jack Eichel's probably not anywhere near the top as far as points this season. McDavid with 102. Marner and Matthews right up there as well. McKinnon. Nylander was up there, so I got to assume it was Marner, Nylander, Matthews, Drysaddle, and then there is Eichel. Ovechkin, who we let walk, always seems to go to Florida. I don't get it why, uh, um, like, he always goes to Florida every time I uh, he's a free agent. Anyway, Kucherov with almost 60 goals. That's insane. Defenseman, Cal McCarr with 69. It was a low-scoring season for defensemen. I've seen better than that. Darlene with 56 actually made the list, too. Uh, defenseman goals, yeah, Tori Krug with 20. Uh, and then goalies, 50 games played, save percentage, Tuka Rask. That's our first round opponent, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man, that's great. That's going to be great. That's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see that one. Um, but yeah, not a good season here for Olmark. He actually, I think, had the worst or pretty... He effectively had the worst save percentage. Goal against average was not much better either. Uh, rookie skaters, it was Beret Boulet and Eugene Alsner. Eugene Alsner is a very, very good player. But Beret Boulet has the benefit of playing on uh, on Tampa. For any rookie goalies? No, none. That's that's fine. Jim Reimer Vesna. I don't I don't think I don't think that's uh, happening. Um Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something real quick here, guys. Uh before the season ends, Sanford. Hit the pine, bud. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. If you don't perform, you're out of here. Minus 20 in under 10 minutes. Regular season has ended. Let's get it underway. We take on the Montreal Canadiens.